So I, I already feel like I'm just about to eat somebody's pet goldfish. <laughs> guys it is time once again to start preparing for an awesome saturday night as you can see i have another black eye thank you once again to the same granddaughter who did it the last time if you don't remember or if you never saw that you'll have to go back to like october um where i did the haunted car wash and i filmed at the racks in lancaster ohio and uh, and i got this big blazing black eye because she had dropped, in fact, I think I saved it, yeah, she dropped this on my eye the last time and gave me a black eye. And this time, they were crawling on me and we were fighting over the remote for the TV. When I say fighting, I mean just playing. And uh, Little reached over and accidentally poked me in the eye. And I just said, oh, you just hit me in the eye. And then the baby... Uh, Aurora, she headbutted me right in the eye in the exact same spot as where she hit me with that glass lid. So here I am once again with a black eye. But that's not going to stop me. We're going to have an awesome night. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this show this time that we are going to watch Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, but we're going to have a double feature because part two came on this. This was like, I don't know, six or eight bucks over at the Dollar General, and I got both movies. I no, I've seen part one a million times, but I'm not sure about part two, so this will be kind of a treat, because I don't think I've ever seen that one. But we're also going to make meatballs! So the first thing I had to do was thaw some hamburger, because all of mine was frozen, so there's a couple pounds of that. I don't know if this stuff is still good. Spicy marinara by Victoria. This is one of the kinds that I use for low carbs. Um, we'll test it out. But I actually also have a whole thing of Prego because I made some meatballs last week too. And that'll be okay because, I mean, I'm not going to eat a lot of the sauce anyway. Uh, do we need anything else in here? I don't think so at the moment, but we do need some spices and things. We're going to use grated Parmesan instead of breadcrumbs. And then let's see. Ah, yes, we got minced onion. Onion powder. I don't think we'll need that because we got the minced onion. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Ooh, garlic powder. In fact, I believe we have some, yes, minced garlic. And looky here, basil pesto will do it. And here's some Italian seasoning. That should be good enough right there. Also gonna use the slow cooker to cook these slowly, <laughs> but not before we put them on parchment paper and bake them in the oven. We also need that pan. All right, let's get this plugged in, put it on high, and then we're gonna put our sauce in there and get that warming up. That smells pretty good. We'll use it. Set that aside. Okay, we're gonna line this with parchment paper. Oven on to 350. You need to get a bowl too, partial to the big red one. Okay, I got about two pounds of hamburger here. I don't know why I'm going to use so much. I should just use one pound, but who cares? So mash that up a little bit to make it easier to mix. 
And there is one thing I forgot. I need eggs. I'm gonna use two eggs. Crack them right in there. That'll give it a little bit of moisture, make it easier to mix the rest of the stuff in. Okay, once that's mixed in pretty good, add a little bit of salt, black pepper, minced garlic. Mm! Actually, that's a little overpowering, but I know it tastes delicious. That's about two tablespoons. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you put in there for your own taste. We're also gonna put in basil pesto. Mmm. Okay, Italian seasoning. Good chunk of that. Minced onion. And here's the thing, the reason I don't put just chopped up onion in this is because chopped up onion will cause the hamburger to fall apart. You want these hamburger balls to stick together. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Garlic powder <laughs> and grated Parmesan. Now, once you've done this a billion times, you can just kind of throw it in there like I do. I know what I like, I know what tastes good, so you just kind of have to learn it for yourself. Let's mix her up. Okay, when you got it all mixed up, it's time to make the meatballs. Grab a hunk and ball it up. <laughs> I try to keep them all about the same size, but I'm not measuring anything, so. However, the smaller you make them, the shorter time they're gonna have to cook. Okay, so as you can see, we got 23 meatballs. I could have made a lot of those much smaller and got, we probably could have got 30 to 35 meatballs out of that, but I like them big. So these are gonna go in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes, maybe 20, just long enough to kind of get the shell of them in the form of a meatball so they're not falling apart in the slow cooker. Alexa, set my alarm for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right, thanks, appreciate you. How many people watching now unintentionally have a 15 minute timer set? <laughs> okay, so tonight we're not gonna make a t-shirt. I don't have an extra one, so I do have another thing in, in mind here. And uh, I like to do cool things with movies that ties like the snacks and everything you're doing in with the movie. If you've ever seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, you know that the town it takes place in is famous because of sardines, Baby Brent sardines. So I came up with a cool idea. I found these food storage containers at Walmart. And as you can see, even though they're bigger, they are shaped like a sardine can. So what I thought would be cool is if we went on the internet, found the Baby Brent sardines label, printed them off, and glued them to the top of these containers, and then we can use the containers for our snacks. The other thing is that before we do that, I actually bought some real sardines. And I've never tasted a sardine. I think they're absolutely disgusting, even just the suggestion of them. <sighs> but I thought, for this special occasion, I might try one. And I bought these in Louisiana hot sauce, because I figured that would make them taste better. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Ugh, I, I, I don't even want to do this, but I'm going to do it just for you guys. All right, Beach Cliff Sardines in Louisiana Hot Sauce. Uh, all right, I don't know what these are gonna smell like, but I don't like it already. Oh, yuck, they, they look disgusting. It doesn't smell too bad, but I'll tell you, I'll be honest, it's... <laughs> it smells like when you go to the pet store and they're looking at the fish. It smells like the fish department in a pet store. Ugh, so I, I already feel like I'm just about to eat some of these pet goldfish. They're too big, man, look how big! Hey, I spilled some of that crap! But look how big they are. I am not eating a whole sardine. Heck no. All right, let's get down to business. All right, I got a nice big glass of water to wash this disgustingness down with. Maybe it won't be so bad. I mean, look, the skin is on. It's shiny. <laughs> I honestly 
expected to see like a full-size sardine in here with a head and everything and a face looking at me. I'm not thrilled about this. Okay, the inside looks like tuna. And I do like tuna. That's what the inside looks like. Smells like a goldfish. Looks like a tuna. Dip it in the hot sauce for all the hotties in Louisiana. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this delicious food. There are starving people in Ethiopia. Three, two, one. Mm -mm. Okay, hold on, let me take a drink. Ugh. Okay, the concept is more disgusting than the actual sardines, I'll tell you that much. Hold on, let me pour out some of the sauce. That's what they look like. I expected it to be full-size fish in there looking at me and smiling. <clears throat> like I said, they smell like the fish department in a pet store, and they taste like a cross between tuna and salmon. So really, they're not all that bad. The Louisiana hot sauce did definitely make it better, um, but I'm not eating anymore. So goodbye, sardines. <sighs> a nice drink to cleanse my palate. Let's find... This label, the Baby Brent Sardine Company. Baby Brent Sardines, there we go. Uh, Baby Brent Sardines can. We need to find one we can crop. All right, let's just try this. Crop this. Okay, now we need to print it. So we have these options here. Four by six is one. I think that actually would be good size for that. Two of those, because I got two containers. Sweet, that is perfect. Look, that's gonna be the perfect size to go on there. What kind of a nerd am I? <laughs> this was the greatest idea ever, man. I just love making cool stuff like this. Okay, so we're just gonna cut around the perimeter of that. Crap. Alexa, stop. We'll leave those in there for a few more minutes. I actually just checked them and they're still pretty soft looking. Okay. So there we go, there's our label. <laughs> so I cut both of them out, and I have two lids. I don't have any glue, so I'm just gonna use tape. In the corners, it'll get the job done. <laughs> and we have ourselves Baby Brent sardines for our movie. But wait, there's more. It's not sardines, because sardines are absolutely disgusting. It's actually, Swedish fish. We got Swedish fish from Walmart, a buck 88 for this big bag. Oh, those smell so good too. They're the assorted colors kinds. We're gonna pour them right in our sardine can. And there, my friends, are the snacks for the movie. Baby Brent sardines, AKA colored Swedish fish. Ah, oh, they smell so much better than a pet store. Okay, and there is number two. So we got our Swedish fish, and we got our other container here that we can put meatballs in. Okay guys, our meatballs have been in the oven long enough. I'm gonna pull these out and put them in the slow cooker. Mm. One at a time, make sure they get covered with sauce. Okay guys, those are all in the slow cooker. That is how they look. They're all swallowed up by the sauce right now. But I have it on high right now. They should be ready in probably about two hours. So that is cool because that gives me plenty of time to get some other things done, get ready for the movie. And uh, as soon as those are done, I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna do with them before we eat them. So our meatballs are done. They've been in here for about, about an hour and a half. I just tested one a few minutes ago, and they are perfect. Let me show you how these look. Look at that. That looks so delicious right now. So we're going to grab a plate. And we're going to make meatball wraps. You could make meatball subs, and they would be absolutely delicious, but I can't have the bread. So I'm going to be using uh, these Olay Extreme Wellness High Fiber Low Carb Wraps. Now I know I just <laughs> now I know I just poured a whole bag of candy fish into a container over there. 
but it was just for the show. I'm not going to eat them. But these, I am going to eat. Okay, so we're just going to take one. We're going to take some thinly sliced provolone cheese. I'm going to use four pieces here. And just put on my wrap just like that. Then we're going to take a couple of delicious meatballs. Mmm. Four of them to be exact. Right in there. Uh, uh, uh. Just gonna use a little bit of sauce. And look at that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> I gotta let that cool down for a minute before we take a bite because these things are super hot. I accidentally forgot to film when I had the first taste. So I'm going to have another taste right now, even though I'm telling you already, it's absolutely delicious. In the wrap, it's really messy, though. You see how it's, like, leaking because of the sauce? If you had it in a bun, the bun would just be soaking up all that sauce. Oh, it'd just be so good. But let's have one little bite here. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm-hmm. 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 Absolutely delicious. And like I said, we got our Baby Brent sardines in our container here, a.k.a. Swedish fish. We got one more container here. You could either fill this up with meatballs and just sit there and munch the meatballs or whatever. But I thought that would be a cool little addition to the movie night. And we got Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs Part 1 and 2. So guys, I'm going to enjoy some of these meatballs, watch these movies. Post your pictures of your own movie nights and snacks on the Facebook page that Nate, guys, and gals come on over there and join up. And I will see you guys next Saturday.